oh. grape juice. Samuel Inni here for that grape juice and as you can see I'm at the BFI Waterloo and we're about to see Ant-Man. Oh I'm excited, the MCU is back and I'm about to be on a red carpet or should I say the purple carpet getting some one-to-one -one interviews so make sure you lock in and stay tuned. Oh, you look Thank you so do you, I love your coat. I love this yeah, dress, fantastic. this is amazing. That great uh, juice, yes. it's all over of you. Of course, of course. I'm yeah. happy to have you here. Welcome to London again, of course. Um, it's so exciting to have Ant-Man back. Yes. How does it feel to be involved in it, the Ant World, the MCU, all of it? Tell it's, us how it's, it was. it's so cool to now be sort of central to the story of the MCU. We've always been kind of outliers in the in the gang, you know, and so it's really nice to be in the middle of the launch of the fifth, fifth phase and to be introducing Kang the Conqueror, who's just a formidable villain. And, Great. We're having a great time. There's a lot of buzz surrounding this installment. What can the audience expect from this particular one? Um, it's big, it's epic, it's much more um, sort of dark and there's some heavier moments than a typical Ant-Man film, but there's also still the levity that you're used to from our brand. There's still the sweet family moments. It's still wacky and bizarre, which is what you need. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for your time you. and have a lovely night. Cheers.